going on YouTube? Back with another beer review. Going to start making the videos again like I used to. And today we have a brand new product by Anheuser-Busch. And not just Anheuser-Busch, Busch in general. You may be seeing this around. It is Busch Signature Copper Lager. Take a good look at it. I know the lighting in this room is not that great. I'll back up a little bit. But Busch Signature Copper Lager, introduced this year, is 5.7% alcohol by volume. So Busch is not really known for high alcohols by volume, but this happens to be one of them, next to the Busch Ice. Um, you know, it's glad to see Busch finally re um, get a new product out on the shelves. It's been a long time. For people that don't know, um, that don't follow Anheuser-Busch or don't follow Busch in general, the last Bush product that was released that was new was back in 1995, and it was Bush Ice, which is not sold up in my state. Um, it's only sold regionally. Of course, you have regular Bush, you have Bush Light, you have Bush NA, which I have not tried, have no reason to try, because if I'm going to pick up a $10 case of beer, it's going to have alcohol in it. And then Bush Ice, which I have not seen up here. And now, Bush Signature Copper Lager. <laughs> Copper Lager, I think what Bush is trying to do is get on the bandwagon to people that like ale beers. Now, for people that don't know this, your most common ale beers you're going to see in the States are Sam Adams. And Sam Adams has all different types of products. Um, they're the Boston Lager, of course. Newcastle, which is imported from England. Um, and there's a few others, and I know there's a lot more than that, but I just, I don't... I particularly am not a dark beer fan. I just do not like the taste of dark beer. I, but I can understand where people would like that. So, Bush is giving it a try with Copper Lager. Alright, of course, it says here, Proudly brewed with grains from America's heartland, and toasted malt for a smooth signature taste. Made by Anheuser-Busch, of course, 5.7% alcohol by volume. You know what really drives me crazy? Why not just make it 6 why do this 5.7, 5.9 shit all these companies do? Just make it 6. Come on. I don't get it. But, uh, yes, it is 5.7% alcohol by volume. It's got the government warning. The board on date here is March of this year. So, of course it would be from this year, right? And I'm trying to see if there's anything else on here that I should know about. It's made with uh, barley malt, water. Uh, cereal grains, hops, and yeast. Okay. Like I said, I'm not a dark beer fan. It's got the twist-off cap, which is nice. And it's been a while since I've used these, so it's kind of nice to get this out again. It's got that bush beer smell. A little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. This is almost the exact same color, maybe a little lighter than Sam Adams. Alright, so it's got that copper color, that ale brown color. Uh, the head uh, doesn't dissipate as quickly as the other Bush products, but it still dissipates pretty quickly. And it's got that nasty fucking ale smell to it. For those, if you like ale beer, I'm sorry, but it's just something, I, like I said, if, if I don't like this, I'm not really going to hold anything against Bush. I just figured, because Bush is still my probably my all-time favorite beer, next to Budweiser, but, yeah, I don't know, man. Price-wise, not too cheap, and that's uh, out of character for Bush, because Bush is really known for their cheap prices. Not so with this. Of course, I guess at 5.7% alcohol, and it's a copper lager, pretty much an ale beer. They're, none of them ale beers are cheap. Okay, so, like I said, it's got, it, you really, it kind of doesn't have that bush smell that you would typically get out of bush light or regular bush. Maybe, maybe a hint of it, but it's more ale. Or copper, however the hell you want to say it, but I'm calling it ale because that's pretty much what it is. Alright, let's go with the taste test. Oh, 
Okay. This, take your Sam Adams Boston Lager, the regular Sam Adams Boston Lager without the flavors, whatever the original Sam Adams is, I believe it's the Boston Lager. Add water to it. There you go. That's what it tastes like. It tastes, it's not as disgusting as I thought it was going to be, I got to admit. Would it be something I would drink on a regular basis? Probably not. Simply because what I just said a few times. I don't like dark beers. I'm not a big fan of them. But I understand this is not bad. It really is not. It's not as aggressive as Sam Adams is. And Sam Adams is aggressive. Newcastle. Newcastle isn't aggressive. It literally blew my socks off. It was that freaking nasty. No disrespect to Newcastle or Newcastle fans, but that was shit was horrid. Um, but this is the cheap version of Sam Adams or Newcastle. It's pretty much what it is. Um, you know, like I said, you still got your alcohol. You got uh, that copper taste, that ale taste, a little bit, but not as assaulting as I expected it to be. I could see where people would actually like this. I really do. If you haven't tried it, pick it up. Give it a shot. Especially if you like ale beer. Now, if you're used to like the Heinekens, or that's not ale, excuse me, Newcastle and the uh, Sam Adams, you probably won't like this too much. But, I can see. It's got that bush flavor a little bit. But very, very mild, if any. You know, Bush, I, I applaud them for trying this. And I'm a diehard Bush fan, believe me. But if you want to go with something that's really a copper lager or an ale beer, I would go with either Sam Adams or Newcastle. Because if you like that type of beer, I don't think you'd like this too much. But... Pick it up. Give it a shot. Bush is finally releasing something new after 15, 16 years, whatever it's been. So, the overall review for Bush Signature Copper Lager, I'm going to give it a C. And that's pretty low for me when it comes to a Bush product, but it's just simply because I am not a fan of dark beer. I just do not like the taste of it. I like the fact that Bush uses brown bottles. Of course, that protects it from the light, the skunkiness. Most beers now are getting the hint of that, that most of them do, except for like Corona or something like that, but most beer bottles you see are brown. So guys, Bush Sings for Copper Lager, pick it up, give it a shot. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it. They have the canned version of this too. It may not taste any better, I don't know. But pick it up guys, give it a shot, and I'll be back with you for some more videos.